welcome to Morningside. When we first came to the farm, we were, we were Woodside. For us, it was really exciting to see the opportunity in this farm uh, to rebrand as Morningside. So Morningside now is basically a family operation uh, with some really important staff and, and obviously vets, farriers and, and the like are all there too. But the core of our business now is myself, my brother Tom, my father who's, who obviously owns the business and prior to that my grandfather who was involved. When we did rebrand to Morningside, James Harron has come aboard with us in the last 12 months and what we've been able to achieve in our partnership with him has been really exciting. The first things that we wanted to do was to improve our broodmare band at the top end. And in the last 12 months, we've bought some fantastic mares. Um, obviously starting off at the Chairman's Sale, we bought Ludicia in foal to Kingman and she's produced a lovely filly. First foal, absolute cracker, and, and she's just a pitcher as well. Followed by Rubisaki, a three-time group winner. Glistening, a group two winner as well. She's also in foal to Ritten Tycoon. And more recently, we purchased a mare in the US, uh, Miss Alacrity. And the plan is for her is to head via Frankel and come home to us in foal. So yeah, we've been able to uh, improve at the top end considerably in just 12 months. The farm itself is just a, is just a bit over a thousand acres with six kilometres of Goulburn River frontage, which is fantastic for, for the horses and, and for us too. And about 200 acres of those is, is sown down to loosen uh, with flood irrigation. Obviously our proximity to the river is wonderful at the best of times, but uh, in late October last year, we were uh, impacted heavily by the floods. Over a third of the farm was underwater. So early in the day, the water had only just broken the, the bank. The only horses that happened to be on the other side of the river were Rubisaki, Glistening, and a few more of our brand new, highly invested in mares. We pretty much doggy paddled next to the horses all the way across. I guess in instances like that, you don't really think about the danger. It's you just go for it and you do anything to save the animal. I guess we count ourselves as like one of the lucky ones as far as damage goes. A lot of people had a lot of damage, lost livestock. The soils here aren't boggy, so a lot of that water was able to run off over the month following the flood. You know, you say they're things, but you can't prepare yourself for the devastation of, of how it came through. We love Inglis. It's, it's always been a great home sale for us. Our first sale was fantastic, you know, selling six from six was the exact result we wanted to have. Our average was great, right amongst the top vendors and to see the horses go to the right stables, you know, the, obviously the buyers are there and to see them go to the, to the top trainers and all, all the right stables gives them every opportunity and that's just another step for us, you know. There's only so much we can do here, um, it's, it's, it's afterwards that's also just as important so to get that tick that they're going to the right place for us was really exciting and and I think Inglis provide that. They make sure that we've got the buyers there and every horse gets, it gets its opportunity. We broke our Morningside Maiden with one of the six uh, that we sold at Melbourne Premier last year. Really exciting to see our Dundee Colt trained by the Hawks team and owned by Rupert Lee. Fists of Fury's got it. Fists of Fury, easy in the end. Yeah, we've always strongly supported the, the Melbourne sale through our Woodside days and, and obviously now at Morningside. Uh, relationships with the team, you know, James and, and Will Stott there have, have been really good. They've looked after us and, and I'd like to think that we've, we've helped out by providing some really nice horses. This year obviously with 12 horses we've, we've, we've tried to push our marketing a little bit more and uh, we're going to be sharing a marquee with Gill Guy so I encourage everyone to come down and see the horses first and foremost but spend some time meeting us and the team. Off the back of Fists of Fury uh, winning last week, uh, it'd be foolish of me not to mention one of our done deal colts out of our mare, Slippery When Wet. He's got size, scope, and he's got a lovely action. Uh, wait till you see him walk. Come down and have a look. And finally, a written tycoon filly out of the mare, Secret Doubt. Uh, she's a farm favourite. She's produced operative. Uh, Coolmore bought him at the uh, Inglis Easter sale a few years ago. Uh, she's got substance, she's got a huge girth, great hind quarter and a lovely temperament. The Morningside Maiden was broken, uh, we've got runners coming, 
there's more to come. The English sale's not far away. We've got probably the best draft we've ever had. We're really excited, so please come on down to Barn F and see us and see the yearlings.